Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. As you can hear, my voice is a bit messed up. It's been a yeah, <laughs> a long night. Last night on a wedding, lots of drinks and stuff. So that sort of stuff happens. Anyways, I have not released any videos for the last week, simply due to the fact that I'm a teacher and the end of the year is just complete chaos and hectic. So I just didn't have any time or energy, maybe time, but just didn't feel like uploading anything. Um, but yeah, the, the summer break is about to begin. Just one more week of work and then I'll have tons of time to release content. So uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Anyways, I got two designs today. The first one got sent to me by Anexus Minecraft. I'll put uh, links to his channel in the description of the video. He also does a Let's Play series. So if you want to check him out, go check him out. Um, this design is simple but elegant. Those are the best designs. The ones that are simple and elegant. Um, what we have is the following. Let's put this on two ticks actually. It is, it's not something new. I mean, I've seen this before, but uh, he's, he's like the first channel that just done a simple, simple tutorial on it. Um, basically what it is, it's a uh, redstone torch placement detector. You place the torch and when you do, that will, uh, yeah, that will basically send a pulse and you can make it be like a T flip flop like this. Just hook up a piston to the, uh, the redstone dust and yeah, you could use this to open a door or close a door. You don't need any T flip flop because this this thing acts like a T flip flop itself. Um, gives a nice short pulse, works in all directions, and it's so simple. Um, the only thing that might be weird is that like at the st when you when you first build it, you have to make sure that you place it here so that the thing extends. And what it does is it it just makes it the block update. So if I place a block here now, it's just a toggleable. Uh, I mean not talkable, it's just a, a pulse but in a sense. So very simple. Then the next design got sent to be my, my, my friend CMB Minecraft. Uh, he actually also used this in his uh, yeah improvement on his waterfall, hidden waterfall door. Um, I I really like it. It I mean I've showed his double extender before, like the one that got sent to me was actually made by him. Um, but uh, this design is also very nice. Basically, it's a double extender that you can hide behind the wall. I have to do it correctly now. <laughs> Excuse me, just woke up. But this is basically all there is to it. So once you activate this, the redstone dust will activate the last piston. And that piston gets fired into this uh, next to this block that's getting activated by the redstone, so it's going to get instantly extended. Now on the way back, the first thing that's going to power down is uh, is this dust. So, well, so when I flip the lever, that's going to turn off. Then the second thing that's going to turn off is this dust here, which is going to retract this piston. And then um, because the piston gets pulled back next to this block, it's going to extend again because this uh, redstone dust is still activated get the block and then pull back. So it's really it's really clever, really simple. Uh, you could slow this down if you want, but this is probably the, the highest speed you can get without uh, the pistons derping up. Works in all directions, super simple, courtesy of CMB Minecraft. He does awesome stuff. I'm sure you guys all know about him. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to show uh, you guys. If you have any video responses, be sure to send them in. I'll check them all out. I've got a whole bunch of lined up stuff for future uh, sharing is caring episodes. So if I haven't featured any of your designs yet, there is still a high chance that I will in future episodes. But this is just uh, two simple things I wanted to show now. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye bye.